Mountain View Lodge. The story behind the Mountain View Lodge is the Mountain View Lodge, I believe, was left abandoned in 2015 and it caught on fire like three years later, like around 2018. And there was a murder that took place in the parking lot area at this Mountain View Lodge in Corbett, Kentucky. That's some of the history of this place that happened. I did feel a cool breeze just now. Mm. It went past me. So, we are not the only ones here. Other people came up here to look at the Mountain View Lodge as well. There's our car there. We did a nighttime video of this place. We are in the daytime. And this is on the way to Six Gun City that we are going to after this. So we are going to be recording a exploration of the Mountain View Lodge the story behind the Mountain View Lodge is and I believe if I'm correct it was abandoned in 2015 and it caught on fire a few years later and a murder took place in the parking lot
I'm not sure if a walkthrough is part of it, but I felt like... Yeah, it is too. I felt like something touched me. I'm yeah. not sure if we just walked through the spiderweb though. Did it feel like a spiderweb or? I thought we did, but. There, I didn't see no spiderweb. I think we possibly walked into a spirit. Let me have a look right here. I'm trying to see if there's a spiderweb. Could be a spiderweb, but whenever there's like a spirit nearby, You'll feel like spider webs over you, and there's like no spider webs at all. I think we possibly walked into a spirit. Hold on. Maybe it was just spider webs. More than likely spider webs, but who knows? It could be like a 50 50. Right, because we did not see no spider webs when we walked through. So we might have ran into a spirit that was in that room. It's like it's still on me. This is the laundry facility. Is that you? That made that noise? Yeah. Yes. So far, we believe we have walked into a spirit because we checked on our arms and stuff and did not. If there was a spider web, we would have felt it on our face too if we walked right into it. But spirits are also, you know, once it's near, it feels like spider webs and everything like that. But there was no spider webs on our faces, nor our arms. We might have walked into a spirit that was stuck in that room. And they were trying to attach themselves to me or Joey. Did you say something? Did you say something? Did you say something? Oh, yeah, I said, mm -hmm. Did you hear, yeah? Yes. I heard a voice. Why right not you said, mm-hmm? Did you hear a voice? Okay. I heard a yeah. That it sounded like a female. The voice sounded like a female. But right after I said it might have attached themselves attached themselves to us, he or she, but it sounded like a female, because I think we walked into a spirit, a female spirit. But that voice was clear, my camera picked it up.
we haven't went in here yet. I think this is the second floor to the pool. Or the first floor. What I, what I said, I think this is the second floor to the pool. I think I heard of another female spare party saying one saying no. Or no. Exactly like that. Like the first one that I heard yes, it said like, yeah. And then the second one like, no. Clear as day. Careful. This is the pool of the Mountain View Lodge, but we're definitely capturing some voices here. So far I'm hearing like a female voice. And it's not the people that pulled up. Because it sounded way too close and they were already outside in their car. But that was a female spirit communicating with us. But there is a female spirit communicating with us. Hey, what's up? Yeah, uh, we captured a female spirit talking to us. Hey. Female spirit talking to us. Hey, man, I tell you what. Hey, I've, I've got a little room upstairs. I spent a few nights up here, man. I've got a little room off to the corner upstairs up there, man. Uh huh. Hey, freaky. Yeah, hey, you want you want to go to it? Oh yeah. man. Oh oh man. Oh oh, here's the spirit hunt, man. Hey, you're about you about to get wiped out. <laughs> Hey, I know I slept in there three or four nights, man. It's hey. haunted. This place, this whole entire building's haunted. I've come up. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Hey, hey, don't don't doubt it. I, I know I've seen ghosts since I was a young kid. Right. I had one. I had one. We, I grew up in as a tenant farmer. We had an old farmhouse that was built in 1898. There's a crazy guy there, and he killed three women in it. Mm. And man, oh, man. Oh, you talk about getting haunted. Holy son of a bitch. Because they didn't have nothing like this ghost up and shit. You know, back then, that was back in the 70s. Right. Hey, I, I, I tell you where this house is. Oh my God, it's still standing. I mean, Berlin, but I mean, it's it, abandoned. It's, a freaking haunt. it's in Williamsburg. Williamsburg, Kentucky. Yeah, it is a haunted, haunted house. 1890s. I mean, it is. It is. Oh. And it's abandoned, right? It's covered up. Yes, it is. Awesome. Oh, it, it, oh. Uh, uh, hey, I, I'll show it to you on Google Earth. You won't believe this place. We, we appreciate that if you could. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, if you're the ghost hunting, you go to this place. You will find the fucking ghost. Oh wow! Hey, I was haunted my whole life down there. I lived there 14 years. I, I was never. They wasn't mean spirited or nothing, but they did things all the time. Right. They was all women. They was always dressed in white, like a wedding gown. It wasn't a wedding gown, more like a. I, I don't know, a nightgown. So come on, I'll show you this room I slept in that I've been haunted in. But yeah, like so far, I've been hearing a female spirit talking to us. Oh yeah, I don't doubt it, man. I'll tell you, man, it's, it's, it's wild in here. You know, I've been scratching these little doors and shit, man. And like I said, I've, I've spent several nights up here, man. I mean, oh. Hey, you get up here all night and you close yourself in and stuff because you have to close off this room up here. Close it off. Right back here, guys. And like I said, I used to close this place in whenever I slept in there and stuff. Uh-huh. But, but I don't do it anymore, man. I leave it open because it... Because they act like they act like if you close them in, they act like they get mad. Right. I don't know what it is. I know right around here. Last time Joy and I was here, it was at uh, nighttime. We yeah. heard a voice around here too. Oh, oh man, I hear voices a lot, man. But like I said, I slept here several nights, you know. Because, uh, you know, hell, hell, I heard, I'm 55 year old, you know. Hell, I basically, I can survive anywhere. I found this, had a new mattress on, I unfolded it, made me place you no, know, because I can't up here, like I said, I'm scraping that aluminum stuff. Right. I'm scraping that aluminum. 
So I just decided to stay up here. Hey, I stay up here less right. now. Hey, close this place off and walk around here. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. But, but I, I'll close this door behind me and you leave that, leave that closed off and stuff. And you'll see what I mean. Turn your lights out and stuff and then wait around in here. You give about 15 minutes. Take a seat and stuff and just quiet and give it about 15 minutes. Like you're in here resting or something. They'll, they'll be right on you, I'm telling you. Right. And, and whenever you talk it down, man, I'll show you on Google Earth. I've got my phone with me. So if I'll show you right where that big 1890s house is. And it is. It's a super haunt. Right. I mean, it's a super haunt. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'll be down here just all over. All righty. I'm going to close this door. It, it kind of makes them, to, I don't know, uh, but it kind of makes them, to, to, I don't know how to explain it, uh, uh, I don't know, sparky or something. I don't know. Okay. kind of makes them jumpy. All right. All right, I got you. Yeah, this is exactly the area where, or I personally heard a male's voice. Mm -hmm. Last time you and I were here, yeah. it was a male's voice that we heard. But I don't think the spirits here does not have enough energy to light up that cat ball. Because we have gotten the cat ball to lit up by spirits plenty of times. And we caught an orb in here. So we got, you know, spiritual voices. But we got mainly female spirits this time. And I believe there's only two floors up in here, right? Yeah, I believe so. Two floors. Yeah, two floors. I'm over here. Oh, what's up? Try to get up there. There's smokes. There's fire boy going. Oh, it looks up the ladder. Oh. Yeah, a little shaky. No, I don't know. I say don't risk it. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it. Maybe not. Because it's my flip over and yeah, it
what we experienced here so far at the Mountain View Lodge is I heard female voices in here, like spirit, female spirit voices. And I believe there's like one female spirit here. And she was basically answering my questions for me. That was pretty cool. Like when I asked about the, um, I believe the poles on the second floor, she said no. And it's actually on the first floor area. And when I asked or said, I believe we walked into a spirit. And then she said, yes, the female spirit did. So we may have did walk into the spirit because I could not find no spider webs at all on me. And when we walked into that room, there was no spider webs at all in that room that we've seen at all in front of us. Nope. None. We're going to try and see if we can find him to see if he could give us information about that abandoned house in Williamsburg, Kentucky. As he said, the abandoned house in Williamsburg, Kentucky was built around like 1890. So we're going to see if we could find him to give us the location of it since he knows the exact location. So that way we can check that place out. Hey, how's it going? Do you know where the um, other gentleman is? Right, here. right over there? Because yeah. he was saying something about like he sees an abandoned um, house in Williamsburg, Kentucky. Yeah. And he was going to give us information about it. Well, he may, may been the one who told you that. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, whenever you get a chance. Hey, I'm, I'm hey, right now. Just let me pull over a little bit. I want to tell you something a little bit about myself. Gotcha. Uh, I broke my pinky. My left hand ain't too firm, but they Google Earth this place in Williamsburg. It's down the hole in the wall. You know where that's at? I right believe I do, yeah. you get to high school, there's the two cliffs. Go down in them. Yeah. This place is, oh man, you're going to love this place. You oh man, wait till you see it. You won't believe it when you see it. You won't believe it when you see it. God, it's so awesome. 
I found some more abandoned places, man. I've been I've been doing a lot of urban. Yeah, it's my favorite thing to urban do. Exploring and 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 stealth camping and uh -huh. you some places I've camped, man. I've camped right on people and they've never seen me. I've got a ghillie suit and stuff. I mean, I am slick, son. I'm 55 years old. I'm fairly smart. Right. You know what I mean? I, I graduated with honors. Like That's not, good. I was on the dean's list for fucking four semesters in a row. Then my grade point average dropped down to a 3.4. Hmm. So, but it was 3.6 to 3.8 for forever. Graduated with honors, emergency medical care, and paramedic, trauma care. Yeah, I've restored every historical building around here. Maps. You're going to love this place. Man, you just got to go to it. Too promise me you'll go to it. You have got to go to this place. I mean, be careful in there because, like I said, it's 1890s. But man, oh my God! Oh, How I many stories you, is it? Two stories. Two stories. Yeah, with an attic in it. There's supposed to be all kinds of bad Any stuff. Happened in the attic, no basement. There's supposed to be all kinds of bad stuff in the attic. And whenever we moved in there in the 70s, there was ropes hanging in there and shit, and it was freaky looking. Oh, wow. I reckon the old guy, he was crazy, and he'd run around the house naked and stuff. I reckon he threw one of his wives out a window and killed her. Wow. Out the hey, the second story window on this side of the house. If right. you're looking at the house, it'd be on the left side of the house, second story window. I reckon he threw her through the window, his first wife, and killed her. He killed three of his wives in the house. Wow. And they hung him. Mm. I, that's the story goes. That, that was Evan Angel. It, it was Angel Farm, and that's that's what Evan Angel told us. And uh, you, my mamma, you know, I grew up there with my mamma. I lived there for from the time I was three to the time I was fourteen. Right. So, man, I was oh man, it's badass, man. Well, we we squeeze her up here a little bit, and we find the old farmhouse. And I said, oh man, surely they ain't tore it down. Oh man, here's the hayfields. No, oh, right there it is. Oh boy, it looks bad, man. You said right there? That's it. Hmm. No, that ain't it. That that's the that's the fucking That's the, the house old, right there? No, that that's the place next door. That was the other farm. They tore the house down. Either that or you can't see it. It's right here's the road to the house. You know what I bet you can't see it. It's right there because them trees. I know they didn't tear the house down, because I saw it from their estate not long ago. They would have had no reason to tear the house down. That's the uh, this other farm here. Hey, this might be abandoned too. I'm not for sure, but that's the older. Hey, and there's a guy shot himself. My brother's best friend shot himself in the head in that house mm -hmm. because he said there's somebody telling him to do it. Wow. He told Al, he said, somebody's telling me to kill myself. And the next night he shot himself in the head, man. Uh, oh. Gary, uh, I want to say green, but that ain't it. Uh, what was that farm next door to us? Man, I know it just as well as I know my own name. Uh, fuck. I can't think of it, but I think that, that's probably abandoned too, man. But the house is, this is the gravel road to it. The house is right here, man. We're going to wrap up this exploration here. We did caught some paranormal evidence here, mainly the female spirit that's been with us, communicating with us in this Mountain View Lodge. We are going to move on to the Six Gun City now. That's like 28 minutes away from this Mountain View Lodge. If you all heard anything or see anything that we did not hear, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. And until next time, KPE Paranormal. Love and peace.